Welcome to another morning of building this dang ambulance for the last time. Hopefully. <laughs> I did it! Wow, all by yourself. We, we sold, sold the tiny house. house. We've sacrificed so much to be able to build this house. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> It's the last video of our ambulance build! <laughs> well, we're kind of giving us like a week to finish this because we are tired of working on it. And we have other things that we need to get to like traveling. First thing is that we need to fix this lock. We fixed it before, but it doesn't work. Same thing over there. Cause right now we can only lock it from the inside. Basically, this needs to be shorter. <laughs> Is this the part where I say, you were right and I was wrong? Yeah. We had a little heated conversation about this because Michael's like, I can't fix it. I don't want to do it. I guess I was right. <laughs> I just need to do it one more. This uh, screw is stripped. I remember when this happened. <laughs> it was like the first week we got the ambulance. Little did we know it would be the last week that we have to fix it. Yeah. It was my fault too. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Oh, it's like holding from like a hair almost. Here, I'll finish it. <laughs> you get the glory. Oh! I did it! Oh, all by yourself. <laughs> nice! I'd say that looks pretty good. We tested it, it locks, it shuts, it opens. Great. Good night. Yo, welcome to another morning of building this dang ambulance for the last time. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get creative in how to make this perfect cut. But we have a good idea. We'll show you later. <laughs> you have to keep watching. <laughs> I think it's lipstick time. We're just gonna take the piece and put it right where it goes and then press. And then it'll leave like a mark. <laughs> I swear. If you guys didn't know, Steph is a little afraid of spiders. Okay, let's go. Okay, now you can test it. On there. I'm just sanding that. Okay. <laughs> it's done. And that one's done. I just patched the holes so when that's dry, I'll sand it and then I think tomorrow I'll paint it. Just testing out the lock. Nice! Guys, I gotta say, we are losing momentum, but we gotta keep going. We're losing momentum, Micah. I'm losing my mind. I just said I need a hug. <laughs> You're almost done. We're very unmotivated today. This is our second big project. So we built a tiny house in 2020, 2021. And 
it took us 11 months and the the last couple weeks were just like a drag you've been working so hard for so long and you're like motivated you see like the results and you're like yeah and then at the end it's just like the final touches and you're just like i just want to be done i just want to be done but i'm hoping that this time next week it's gonna be done i look stupid <laughs> My sister's calling. Hi, YouTube. We're Steph and Micah, but I'm really Emily. And we're building an ambulance. We went from a tiny house to an ambulance. So let me tell you how we built our ambulance. <laughs> Pretty good. What was that? An impression of us? Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Holy smokes. Are you trying to sneak up on me? No. Oh no, it's his bed. That's his bed? Oh god, it does. But it fits perfectly. It's your bed. I'm about to use this one right here. That looks good. You like it? Yeah, it don't doesn't look stupid at all. Beautiful. This is more room than we have in the tiny house. Yeah, the tiny house, you do this, boom! Just this makes the whole space look way different. It was a hard day, but ended on a high note, so we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So today I'm going to be starting the cab insulation. You know, it being a 7.3 liter diesel, it's pretty loud. First, I'm going to start with this kind of engine liner, and that is going to be mainly focused on the, the, the doghouse, the engine cover. It looks like low idle sits at about 64 decibels and then if I change the idle to go higher, that's about 72, 73. It didn't mean rain, I thought the rain was coming. Cool engine, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> All done. I'm gonna put this thing back on. Okay, ready to test? You gotta close the door. It's four decibels quieter. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Next, I need to clean the outside of the ambulance. I think I really need to get in there and scrub. Give me an update of what you've been doing. 
So today I have been just piddling around. Yesterday we fixed the high beams. Did we? Did we, did we even share that? I don't think we filmed it, but I'll show you. I can't really tell, but they're fixed. We tested them at night. So that's one problem. We went and got one of those DIY AC refrigerant uh, recharge kits. And I was about to do it, but it said to first check and make sure that your AC clutch freely spins. I took out this wiring harness and I'm gonna test that the clutch is engaged when it receives power. So I'll basically catch my 12 volt battery to the positive and negative. If this clicks and moves, then- The belt? This portion right here. Then it's, I don't know what it's is. good. So, that's good. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Did you just figure it out? In a roundabout way. I spent too much time doing other things. Okay. So I could've just started with this. That's what I said. You were right. <laughs> oh yeah. Guys, we have air conditioning. It is cold. Okay, cool. I didn't do anything technical really, so I just tested things. But you figured it out. Yeah, but I feel like I didn't do anything. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yes, I am wearing the same thing three days in a row, so don't judge me. No, no. It is a beautiful day. Gosh, it's just We thought the horn was broken, but it is fixed. <laughs> And it's pitiful. We hooked up the fridge yesterday evening. It has ice in the freezer, which is great. We've got AC in the car, so now we're luxury. Yeah. I think I'm officially done building. No way, for real? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. This is it. Just these little pieces. That was your last building thing? That was my last bit of measurement. Wow. Ta-da! I gotta take all this stuff to the scrap yard, trying to get some money for it. From here on out, it's gonna be organizing, getting all my stuff together. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. Obviously, I'm happy to be done, but it's just a, a bittersweet. Yeah, you're moving on to the next thing. So, I'm gonna miss this part. Byron's definitely gonna miss it too. We are officially done, and we've been invading this place for far too long. Time to get our stuff and go. Okay, we have some catching up to do. I feel like I need to do this with you, Micah. <laughs> Where I'm telling them our news, and I feel like I have to do it with you. Uh, Whoa. Hey, don't break this up. <laughs> so many things have happened, and we have news. We, we sold, sold the, the tiny house. house. The tiny house. <laughs> yeah, we sold the tiny house and it happened so fast. Pretty crazy how everything just fell into place because we were just like, we're just going to start our trip and then if someone is interested, we'll fly back and like we'll make it work, we'll figure it out, but we don't even have to do that. Like the house is going to be sold. It's already sold and it just needs to be taken out of the but building. Since that happened, our timeline changed a little bit. <clears throat> and now it is go, go, go time. So Sunday night is gonna be our last night sleeping in the tiny house. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's so, it's so sad, but at the same time we're ready for this move, but it's like her baby, <laughs> like her house yeah. is like our first project. Ah, so crazy, so crazy. The ambulance is officially gonna be our home. Like that's it. That's all we're gonna have. And stay tuned to where we're going first in the ambulance because we don't even know. <laughs> we'll see. Good morning, everyone. 
today's a bittersweet day because we are moving the tiny house. So the sale is final, papers have been signed, and today the moving company is coming to pick up the house and take it Lord knows where. So it's completely empty, which is so strange. I have already shed a couple of tears, <sighs> but it's just, we spent so much time building this house. We've sacrificed so much to be able to build this house in our life in general, in our time. We've learned so much on the way. And then we lived in here for a year and a half. This is our first house as a married couple. <sighs> this is our first house. The electricity. <laughs> they cut the electricity. Power's out. I was crying again. Oh. I love you. <laughs> I do. Okay, so basically when we parked it here, it took about four hours because it is so tight. We actually cut a lot of trees down to be able to park it. So there's a dip here that's really nerve-wracking. There's another like little slant here, but then it, the real test is gonna be up there. So I'm just gonna, it's moving. <laughs> Going in the fire pit? Holy crap. Just by my ticket. I can't believe he just did that. So fast. I can't even believe that. Called in to tell you that I'm coming. Final walk Final. This is where our tiny house was, right here. Well, it's gone now. This is where it used to be, like that. So crazy. There's so much room for activities. Yeah, it's his property. He's uh, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, bittersweet. 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 Losing a friend and some income. But mainly the friend, <laughs> mainly the friend. Anyways, this is goodbyes to the land. Not for me, just for you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye, Georgia. On to new things.
Hey there, buddy. I was just like, what is that? Wait, what the heck? There's cows over there. Oh. <laughs> cows. Pretty cool, pretty cool.